Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Walkie Talkie Taters. In this video, I wanna share with you how I messed up my diet this weekend and how I've messed up in the past before and how I see a lot of other people mess up in exactly the same way and how you can avoid it. So first of all, I wanna share with you a story of my boxing days. Maybe six to eight years ago, I was doing a lot of boxing and it's a weight class sport. And there would always be a pressure to be a little bit lighter because if you're a little heavier you could potentially be boxing people that are a lot taller than you they have a longer reach so i had it ingrained in me like i need to lose weight i need to lose weight and um, i didn't know a lot about nutrition at the time so what i found myself doing which i see a lot of other people doing as well is really restricting food intake now, i wasn't counting my calories at the time but i was definitely trying to really restrict myself throughout the day so much so that I wasn't really fueling myself for my training and I definitely wasn't recovering well from it. And what that led to is I was really restrictive, really strict throughout the day and really actually under eating. And what that would cause me to do is by the time I get home from boxing in the evening, I'd be so hungry that I'd be picking up food while I'm making dinner. I would be saying to myself, okay, you know, I need to lose weight, so I'm only gonna have one serving of this food, which generally would be like a chicken wrap or chicken fajitas. And uh, I say to myself, right, I'm gonna have one of these and I'm gonna call it quits, go to bed. And sometimes I would do that. But most of the time I would be so hungry at that point that I would have like, I've got to have another one. So I'd have another fajita, another wrap, and then I would feel like a failure for giving in feel like man how can I not stick to anything I've got no willpower I'm not sticking to my diet you know I've got these goals and you know by that point it's like well you know screw it I might as well have three and sometimes that would be the case and I'd have even more food and then what would end up happening is not only would I feel like a complete failure for giving in but I would also way over consume and actually probably be in more of a calorie surplus by that point and gain weight so I'm not fueled for training I'm not recovering well from training I'm not sleeping well that's for sure either after that much food or going to bed hungry for the days that I did only have one one wrap you know so I was outdoing all of my progress by like going way over in the evenings uh, and being miserable throughout the day and like I said, I wasn't counting calories at this point. I was just trying to cut out as much as possible. And I didn't know a lot about healthy nutrition habits. And so one thing that happened to this weekend was sim something similar, similar situation happened where it was out of my control, but I still had to not eat much throughout the day. My daughter was cut herself in the morning. She cut her eyelid open. I had to take her to the hospital to get it stitched up and we were there for like four or five hours it was a pretty stressful time my daughter was causing absolute havoc playing with the ball like dropping it in the waiting room and all sorts of shenanigans and um, of course like I had breakfast but nothing else after that and we were there for several hours it was a really tough day all around really um, and so I didn't really have anything to eat and by the time I got home I was so hungry, but not only that, I was in such a bad mood that I was just gonna eat anything. And I saw there was like some raw cookie dough in the fridge and I got devoured, right? So I put some in the oven to cook some cookies. And while they're cooking, I'm just chomping down on some raw cookie dough. You know, by this point, I was just so hungry. Blood sugar must've been super low. You know, my body's craving just getting something inside. And that's exactly what I let happen. Um, and the amount of cookie dough that I would have eaten probably was, you know, maybe a half to 75% of my total calorie intake planned for that day. And then of course I had dinner and everything. And <clears throat> the end result was that I was like way over my, my calorie target for the day. Of course, I don't feel bad about that because I did what I had to do and I had to look after my daughter that day. But it just reminded me of the time where I was boxing. And, you know, I did have a choice to 
decide how many calories I wanted to consume or how much food I wanted to consume. And this is where I see a lot of people go wrong. You know, they get super motivated at the start of their diet and they want to go all in or they want to catch up with lost time. And so they do the extremes of, you know, really restricting food intake. Like I said, even whether you're counting calories or not, you know, maybe if you maintain weight at 2000 calories, you're like, okay, instead of going 1500 calories, I'm going to go to 1000 calories. And then either you do that and then you do, you have exactly what happened to me. In the evenings, you get so hungry that you're picking at stuff and you're having two servings instead of one. And that all could have been mitigated by you just being a little bit less all or nothing and making sure you're well fed during the day that you're not so hungry in the evening that you're having to pick at things while you're eating uh, and have like way more food than you would usually should have for dinner. It's a really difficult one because it is like super tempting to just go, okay, I wanna get this done quick, I wanna lose weight quickly, but you know, you gotta think about what's a sustainable, um, a good choice and a good sustainable healthy habit and you know to have enough food during the day it's going to be a really good idea you're not going to have that same hunger levels so that's the story that i wanted to share with you you know back when i was boxing that was the choice that i made and it was a silly choice but i wasn't well educated but now i'm in a position to tell you to be careful of this choice and be careful of being tempted by going all in to really try and lose weight really quickly and be way too overly restrictive and you could maybe hold that up for several days but there's going to be a point where you're really going to crash and burn you know almost the slower you can do it the more sustainable it's going to be we already know that a lot of diets will rebound in in terms of like when people get down to their goal weight or they've lost a significant amount of weight and they go back to old habits there's a lot of research that shows that a lot of people are not able to keep that weight off and they rebound back to their original starting weight most of the time even more they go back to their original habits so you being super restrictive is not going to help in the long run anyway and that's all i have to say about that anyway i'm here in vancouver it's a beautiful day it's not too hot sun's out but this ginger feels safe to go outside and uh, I bought myself a gimbal. I hope you like the smooth ride. Zoom, zoom. Smooth AF, mate, you know what I mean? Smooth AF. Anyway, gang, hope you're having a great day. Please like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I really hope you find this um, content helpful. I'm just trying to share with you all the mistakes that I've made and everything that I've learned through 10 to 12 years in the fitness industry. No more bullshit, no more restrictive diets, only sustainable success.